my life now is the girls and they come first. They always will. <laughs> ah. When I was with Martin, we had a plan. Um, I were always working before I got pregnant anyway. And unfortunately, um, right, no, right, go in there and play now, please. What are you doing? It were all planned. I were going to go back to college um, on evenings when he got home from work and we were going to do the big partnership and work together so that we were both achieving. Um, he were bringing in bacon, I were staying at home playing mum. I wanted to settle down and have a nice little family and I did I suppose and then I still have a nice little family but I just don't have the setup that where I can still try and develop me because all my energy, all my time goes into developing girls. Mommy. Yes, darling. You can have a mini mouse if you go play with your toys nicely with Anna. Please. Mine. <laughs> um. Right, are we gonna give Anna something to play with? Come on, Anna. Anna. Ah. No, don't do that. That wasn't nice. Emily wasn't planned. Ah. Um, but I had to have her. I couldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't have been able to terminate her pregnancy. Um, and part of me had sort of always craved a child. I'm not gonna say that I didn't. From about 16. Something inside me were quite mumsy, I suppose. Um, but obviously, I'd not, I'd not got into a relationship. I'd not, I'd not got qualifications. I want in a job. Uh, we, I just, we did decide that we wanted Anna because I were an only child, and it's rubbish. I didn't like being an only child. Did you not? No expectations and stuff it, it were all on me uh, I was lonely, I were a lonely kid to the point I got that attached to um, my dog <laughs> that when I lost her I got I, I started with depression you know, stupid stuff and I didn't want Emily to feel like that so in a sense I had Anna for Emily <laughs> No, where's your cup? You'll get me your green cup and you can have a bit of juice in a cup. Uh, are you going to go play? Where's your car? Where's your car? Ah. Oh, car. Emily, that's not nice. The closeness between them. Well, one expect. Come on. Right, shall we get some pens or something and draw? Come on then. Oh no, what have you done? No, no. Right, share together. If Anna wants to press those buttons, why don't you tell her what colour the buttons are? I can't make them happy, and as a mum, you're meant to be able to make them happy. So then when I'm not making them happy, I fault myself for it. And then I don't feel happy, and it's just a proper vicious circle over and over again. Not good I hate feeling like so grinded, so sad about a life I've chose. Not that it is quite how I expected it to be, but I chose this. I I made these decisions. I had these babies. It's my responsibility. What shall we do with it? But then I suppose, having so much responsibility as well, that's hard. Emily, no, don't touch the telly, darling. She very rarely sleeps in her own bed. But I'm pretty sure she gets nightmares. 
I used to get really bad nightmares as a kid. Still do sometimes. Why do you reckon? I don't know. Because oh, my head's all over the place. <laughs> no, when I was younger, I think they used to relate to my dad. Um, so it was always like losing someone or not being able to find someone or being like trapped away from my mum or whatever. Really strange. I used to have some really warped dreams. Oh, Mama! We're getting the car. So I hate struggling for stuff and stupid stuff like the girls need longer sleeve tops. I don't have a winter coat. It's stupid stuff like that. Stupid stuff if I haven't been able to pick up in a charity shop or I haven't been able to pick up cheap. And it gets me down. It just makes me fed up. I do get down, I do get depressed, I want to go out with girls and I just can't afford it. That gets to me that I can't take them nice places. It is very isolating. There aren't many groups going on. I'm struggling. Um, the women's group has stopped. Health for all um, aren't getting as much funding. A lot of groups are just going downhill because there's not much support. But yeah, groups are far and few, support's far and few. A lot of things you can't go to unless you have social care involvement or family intervention service involvement. Lovely view. Just looking at our clean place. Right, Anna, sit down. Uh, sit down. Sit down. You just can't have luxuries. And but not even like luxuries for yourself, like say selfish luxuries, like luxurious food. You know, like going and buying a nice lamb joint and being able to buy all trimmings to go with it and all fresh veg and sauce and condiments, etc. You just can't do it, you just can't stuck with fish fingers and stuff because it's two for one fifty because that's cheaper. And it does, it does great, it really grates. I sent him back, so they sent me a... A snake. A snake. He was too scary. <laughs> I sent him back. I want to try get qualifications, or if not, I'll just get into a job. I'll work my way up, I'll just proper graft on. When girls are in school, start part-time and graft on and work my way up. and take every opportunity that I can do and I want to own my own house and have a good life. I don't want to struggle, I want to be able to live. I want to be able to treat myself, not ration as food. If you see a crocodile The duck understand these people that will, uh, will demean themselves and go for a lower job. A job's a job. If you're in a wage, it's better than being sat on the door. If you're cleaning toilets, you're cleaning toilets. You might not be cleaning them forever. I just think everything's, you've got to start somewhere. My jo the thing is, my job in a job now. I have my job. My job's on being a mum. To be a good mum, I've got to get a job that's going to provide things for my girls. It, I don't need a job with a title. I am mum. That is my title. I could be a cleaning mum, a checkout mum, a executive mum. It doesn't matter as long as I'm putting food on the table and still being a good mum. If I hadn't have had the girls, if I hadn't have had those 
life experiences, the bad times, the hard times, I won't be half the person I am now, I don't think, because it made me grow up. It made me a better person. The girls give me a reason to be the strongest person I can be, and I won't change that. That's priceless.